Hi guys, this is Ruzwan from the Dubai Air Show. I am right now standing right next to the most magnificent Boeing 777X. I've been invited by the Boeing team to come and have a private tour of the aircraft. They've invited a few other international media personnel. People from different international media are here and they're here to check out those amazing aircraft. Stay tuned for more, a lot of fun stuff coming up. I'm going to be giving you guys a full tour of this lovely aircraft. The magnificent, the 777X, the next long haul market leader. Oh, I am so excited. They've invited a few media personnel. Glad to be here, part of the media team getting a special VIP tour of the Boeing 777X. So here we have the entire media team from all around the world. These are the few hand-picked people who have been given special private access. We go have a full VIP tour of this lovely aircraft. I've heard Emirates has ordered a bunch of them. We'll start seeing a lot of people very soon. going to give you guys a walk around the 7x it's a lovely aircraft wide body twin engine very efficient the wings are just magnificent it looks so clean. This is going to be the future of aviation. Lots of new airlines are ordering this aircraft. Stay tuned for more. I'm going to take you guys inside shortly to give you a full tour of this facility. Here I am with the entire Boeing team. We are standing right next to the 777X. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Thank How you so you? much. I was trying to run around, but obviously you can't miss the triple seven. I know. How's everything? All right. Sorry about that, guys. So yeah, I was talking to Femka from the Boeing, and oh, I know that guy, the airport guy. I know him. Femka is uh, probably also invited him. That's amazing. I see some people from the international aviation news media. There's a few big guys as well. Let's go say hi to this guy. How you doing? Are you alright? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. I was expecting you. Yeah, yeah. I had a feeling you I'm gonna run into you. Me. I was expecting yeah, you here yeah, at 10 o'clock. Yeah. I was like, there's no way he's not here at 10 o'clock. Hi. Uh, yeah. Rizwan, how, how are you? Oh, we're matching. You all <laughs> Love it, man. Love it. <laughs> Love those, right? Yeah, see man. Hello, everyone. So here we are. Just about to start the tour. And you've got the airport guy right there. And a bunch of other people as well. We're walking inside the aircraft. We're walking inside the aircraft now. Full tour of the facility. Stay tuned for more. So we're walking inside the 777. <laughs> this, is this is an experimental aircraft. Got the airport guy right behind us. We have a lot of international media here, a lot of famous guys, a lot of legacy media channels are here, a couple of famous aviation influencers are here, and they're giving us a tour of this lovely 27X. I'm gonna grab hold of one of these guys and talk about the aircraft more. Stay tuned. Guys, we're inside the 777X and hi sir, how are you? Hi, how are you doing? I'm very well. Sir, tell us a little bit more about why do I see so many wires and all these, I don't know, server looker, server lookalikes, what are these? So all the servers here are to collect data for our engineering team mm -hmm. as we do testing from multiple various applications. Mm -hmm. And then um, you'll see the barrels, uh, they actually are uh, water, they're oh, water wow. barrels and really? we control our center of gravity that way. 
Um, I'm one of the weight engineers. Uh, one of my jobs is to control and make sure that it follows the applications and doing exactly as intended for our test requirements. So uh, a series of test engineers will come and we'll collaborate on what we want to do for the testing. And then, and then uh, my job is to configure that with the mechanics. That's crazy. So you change the water level to change the weight yes. of the aircraft? So you'll see this uh, PVC pipe here. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. basically we have a uh, pump that will pump the water all the way to the back. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And, and what, are these, see, what are these What uh, are these camping look-alike boxes? Oh, those are coolers for our uh, test engineering food. <laughs> all right, okay. Thank you so much. So yeah. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. So, guys, so... I am actually walking inside a 777X for the first time, especially the one which does not have any of these, you know, fancy little things. All of these engineers, they're doing a fabulous job making sure you know, this Boeing aircraft are safe. So guys, apparently, these are barrels full of water and those pipes are actually pushing water all the way from the front to the back and by changing the water level in those barrels, they're changing the weight limit. By changing the weight, they're also testing the aircraft under different weight settings, different weight and balance, and all of the performance data on this experimental aircraft is saved here on these servers. So that's quite amazing. And I am so happy to be part of this. I met one of these engineers who gave me a lovely tour of the entire facility. I'm just walking in and out of this plane and I'm just, uh, you know, I can't thank the aeronautical engineers enough for all the testing and everything they do. It's so great. So, all of these instruments are saving a bunch of data. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. Yourself? Very well. Thank you so much. Could you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. And what exactly is happening here? Sure. So my name is Dolnath Vijayaratna. I go by Dunes, Dunes. and uh, I'm a flight test engineer for the Boeing company. That's amazing. So this area here is called the we call it the analysis pit, mm -hmm. and it's a number of workstations where we can monitor uh, data throughout test flights, mm -hmm. and we help ensure safety of flight for some of the extreme maneuvers we do, and then also monitor data for quality to ensure we get the data that's required for. The, uh, the testing. Okay. So you guys go through different maneuvers and just put the plane into a steep bank or something like that? It all depends on the purpose of the test. Okay. We do testing both for data collection just for uh, validating our own uh, analysis as well as for regulatory requirements to certify the aircraft. Can you think of something, one of your favorite memories during the testing, something crazy you could share with us, something fun? Sure. I, you know, we do maneuvers where we have to go uh, to zero G and wow. beyond, and those are always fun. You're strapped <laughs> in, but you know you float out out of your seat, and you get to to experience. You let go of your pens and yes, see exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for that, sir. Lovely talking to you. Good, good. So, guys, all of these are the test areas. There's so much of data which is collected. So the aviation is a very safe industry because of all of these testing which goes on. Um, it's not just right before the aircraft comes out, but throughout, throughout its life cycle, they keep doing a lot of these type of tests to make sure that the aircrafts are safe, so that the aircrafts remain, you know, safe to fly. This is fascinating because I'm actually seeing this for the first time, water battles water being filled up and, you know changing the balance it almost feels like walking inside an experimental factory so everybody who you see here are either test engineers or experts in their field and you know they know exactly what they're doing and how to keep you guys safe. So these testings are super important. I'm sure you've all heard of the famous saying, if it ain't Boeing, I ain't going. So Boeing has been one of the most famous, world's most 
oldest uh, company which does so many amazing things. There's a very high chance that even if you've only flown once or twice that you've definitely flown in a Boeing aircraft. Hi guys, here I am inside the Boeing 777 aircraft. Hi sir, how are you? Yeah, very good, thanks. How so, are you? Tell us a little bit about yeah. yourself. Uh, my name is uh, Gary Mandy. I'm the uh, Chief Technical Pilot for the uh, Boeing 777-9. Wow. And we're in here in Dubai, showing our aircraft at the Dubai Air Show. So I was just walking around and I see a lot of battles. I see a lot of servers, or maybe, sorry for my language, it looks like a server. What exactly is this? Could you please tell us? Well, the barrels that you see, all these barrels are, are water barrels, and we use that to shift uh, water forward to the forward side of the aircraft and to the rear side of the aircraft. That's just to shift weight and to move the center of gravity, and it's, it's just part of our, our flight test that we use to um, meet the strict criteria we need to uh, with weight and dispersion of weight. I'm sure you do a lot of fun stuff. Do you do a lot of uh, steep turns when you're doing your tests and stuff? Yeah, we do all kinds of maneuvers during flight tests, so yeah, exciting. Can you share with us one crazy story from one of your maneuvers which you can think of? Well, our maneuvers are all, you know, uh, you know all well-controlled maneuvers within the envelope and, and we keep it safe and uh, we do lots of steep turns and, and climbs and descents. And I've heard you guys do testings for the zero Gs as well. Is that I, true? I have not been a part of zero G okay, testing okay. myself. Maybe so I've no. seen a few videos where I've seen a few Boeing aircraft yeah. doing those, uh, you know, the zero G maneuvers. Anyways, yeah. thank you so much for talking to us today. You're most welcome. Have a great day. Thank you thank so much. You. So I mean, it's been one thing after the next, but the airplane's just been phenomenal. All right. So if the the bogies are completely different, completely yeah, there's a, a semi lever gear, so lifted off the, the gear is like the things that we've added with this particular airplane. But I mean, from a pilot perspective, you never know the difference. It works great. I mean, and we get a lot of people that are fascinated by the wingtips. And the truth of the matter is, is those have really been trouble free. Yeah. You know, everybody's fascinated. And, you know, the, the so, the wingtips, are they electrically operated or are they hydraulic? They're hydraulic. hydraulic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, we're back indoors and we're walking inside the 777X Boeing static tour. We're gonna see the mock-up. Thank you for coming once again. It's lovely. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. We're well, going inside the Boeing 777 cabin mock-up. So obviously I'm a big Boeing fan. The 777X has been something quite anticipating. So there's media guys are already here. It's nice to do mock -up. It's quite spacious. It's quite spacious. I have a chance to introduce myself to most of you. I'm the test airplane number one, but uh, my name is Justin Hale, and I lead the marketing organization for uh, 777X. Just right now, in development of the 777-9. Uh, that we sometimes overlook the fact that it is a three-member family, and just want to kind of orient you a little bit to these three airplanes: 777-9, Dash 8, and Dash 8 Freighter. And I'll compare them to two airplanes that you're likely already very familiar with: the 777-300ER and the 777-200 freighter shown at the bottom. And we'll just make some comparisons to these airplanes that you're likely more familiar with to help you understand a little bit more about the 777X family. I'll start with the freighter. 777 uh, freighter shares a body length with the 777-8 passenger size. It changes the landscape for what uh, the wide body market looks like. And if you think of the 777-9 and 777-8 and our one competitor in this space, which is the A350-1000, uh, one of the things that does stand out is that uh, the ceilings slope inward, uh, forming a height towards the center, and there's another where uh, they slope outward, uh, which gives a greater sense of space. And so this is unique 
unique and airlines can configure this to their taste and they can configure it uniquely in different cabins. And so uh, it really gives a different look and feel in the architecture of the airplane compared to any other products that will be flying. The cabin width itself is uh, four inches wider than today's 777. It's 12 to 14 inches wider than the A350-1000. And uh, what that enables is 10 abreast in your seating. Uh, you're seated right now in 10 abreast. And these seats are uh, nearly 18 inches wide. Um, and also the aisles are also close to 18 inches wide. So this is uh, really a key enabler for the, uh, the cabin comfort and the things that we can do, not just in the economy cabin, but in premium cabin as well. And you'll notice that the, so airlines can choose which they prefer. And, uh, oh, yes. right. but it's, uh, it's a new generation of technology, a generation beyond where the 787 is. Okay, cool. Second question is on the, 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 the jets don't have the, the stable chevrons anymore. Yeah, and I don't know if I have a good picture of it in this presentation. So there, what's yeah, there's no need for them anymore. Well, this airplane has a slightly different feature. Um, and there's really two reasons why it wasn't necessary. So you can see this, there is a little bit of a step right here. Yeah. And so those, those chevrons address the shear, the, the, the shear noise of two different speeds of air meeting each other. And having a little bit of feature that helps with that mixing is the reason for that technology. This. This helps, um, but one of the things that we found with this particular engine, the noise levels from this engine is so low, and you'll be able to hear it later today when the airplane flies. Um, really interesting in our light labs to look at um, the way a meal looks different under different lighting, um, and you can have lighting scenes that would make your meal look like something you didn't want to eat. Um, so that, things like that in addition to how you wake up or how lighting, you know, I, I was on an older airplane, um, about a week ago and the flight attendant apologized before she turned the lights on she said this is an older airplane and when I turn the lights on they all come on at once um, and so it's a little bit of an abrupt awakening and these are the kinds of things that uh, a more sophisticated more capable lighting system like this uh, can offer and one of the things that this airplane can do and maybe let's kill this really, yeah let me go back to a darker scene here one of the things that this lighting system can do is it doesn't have to operate symmetrically uh, so it can operate uh, different left to right it can transition scenes left to right and it can also uh, uh, create some dynamic scenes uh, that allow movement in the in the lighting capability so I'll replicating a sunset moving across the cabin from one side to the other It is available in production. Yeah, so th this, uh, this cabin arrangement with this ceiling, uh, which represents what we call the RA architecture, which really is intended to emphasize height. And you'll notice there are no center bins here, and that really represents maybe a premium uh, type cabin where there's less seats, less need for bags. Um, you wouldn't be able to do this, obviously, for economy. So I'm just walking out of the Boeing stand. I must say, guys, it's it's amazing. Boeing has always been one of my favorite companies, and some of the new technologies which are on display, some of the new stuff they've been working on, is just fabulous. I am so happy for them. I wish them the best of luck. I know they've been going through some troubles in the last few years, but I'm sure they'll turn around and they'll come on top of this.